Reseller Clickbait Podcast, Episode 76. Good I work, am kid. Ken SS Code Promo and Corey from Grams and Pops Vintage. Code promo. S, uh, did I do that wrong? Say SS Co Promo. Now, last week, uh, hold on. Now my damn phone's going off. Resell a Clickbait Podcast, Episode 76. I am Ken SSK Promo. Always with me, Corey from Grams and Pops Vintage. How you doing today, Corey? Good. How are you doing today? I am. I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. Are you excited about the big events coming it's up this week? Thanksgiving week. Yeah, Thanksgiving no, week. So no, that's no, the event, no, right? no, no. That's not it. It's, <laughs> what event? It's. Let me give you a hint. Right here. It's, no, take it's, that off. It's Santa Beard Week coming up. No, not this no. next weekend. It's Thanksgiving After, week. And until Thanksgiving yes. Day is gone, we don't need okay. any of that Santa crap. <laughs> What's Santa crap? I, I'm not sure if I'm offended by that or not. Teresa, Teresa has a saying she always told our kids growing up, and they still remember yes. it today. And that's every time you mention Christmas before Thanksgiving is over, you kill a baby elf. <laughs> so take that off. <laughs> <laughs> kill a baby elf. Well, I heard a, somebody had said the other day in our family group uh, text is that... Uh, turkey tastes the same whether the tree is up or not. No, it so, doesn't. Because somebody was saying something about, you know, decorating beforehand or whatever. But, uh, yeah. I so disagree. Next, next, I'm, I'm excited because at the end of this week, after Thanksgiving, we're going to talk about Thanksgiving and all that stuff coming up here. But uh, next week's episode is the big Santa the reveal. reveal coming up. Uh, so I'm excited, you know, going to get this thing bleached out, be wearing my, my, my Santa attire, but, uh, so that'll be, uh, that'll be fun. So I will take that off for sake of, for sake of the show, Corey, and for your peace of mind, I'm going to take, take my Santa hat off. Uh, I'm, so I'm looking are, forward to, to Christmas just as much as the next guy. I don't want to, don't want to yeah. come across as a Grinch. I just got to get my holiday first and that's Turkey holiday. And you so, are so the lay food off, guy. Santa. You are, <laughs> <laughs> you're the you're the food holiday guy. But man, just think of how much food there is during the the Christmas holiday season. But I guess that's mostly like goodies and 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 snacks and cookies and yeah. Cakes that's and that's the cookie holiday for fries. me. This is the yes. turkey holiday. Yes, and that is coming up uh, quick at the end of this week, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. We bought our turkey. And, so we're going to talk all about that in this episode. We're going to talk about some Black Friday and how that, yep. you know, can correlate in your reselling business. We're going to talk about um, just all UPS, USPS shipping rates going up uh, for the holiday season. Again, they're kind of going to get you get you there a little bit. But uh, how was your week so far? It's been busy. It's been a busy week. Yes. We've We've been preparing for the holiday. We've got kids coming out for Thanksgiving, so we're getting the house cleaned oh, up, getting the yard that's cleaned fun. up. And and we've been at the escape room all weekend. We will be tonight, too, until about 10 o'clock. Okay. And then, of course, packing on Monday, but then the rest of the week is just going to be getting ready for the grandkids so, and oh, stuff. Do you have, like, a Thanksgiving-themed escape room where people can, like, at the end, they might get, like, turkey no. with all the fixings? No, but I am thankful every time we get to leave that building. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, there's something to be to be thankful for. So I guess that's that... <laughs> Teresa's that's Teresa's thing. She really likes the interaction <laughs> with the people up there. She she loves that business, and I like the creative we, side of making the rooms, but the rest of it I don't care for. We should do an episode where you're like at the escape room, showing like showing around Just do one walk of the. Throughs. <laughs> the rooms like do a walkthrough and then you can like spoiler alert you know you can give the secret at the end or or some axe throwing you also have axe throwing there we could do that at we the, do. Um, but uh yeah it was good we had our, our thanksgiving holiday live tour show we did uh what last thursday so if you haven't Seems seen like that yesterday. yet it does oh man the days are going by quick if you didn't see that show go check out uh under the live tab 
of our page. If you go to the Reseller Clickbait Podcast page, you can check that out. We had uh, Lori and Kyle, the happy and grumpy picker. Uh, pickers. Picker. They're not just one. They're two. The pickers. Happy picker, grumpy picker. Yep. There you go. Individually, they are happy picker. <laughs> Collectively, they're pickers. Uh, but that was a fun show. Uh, it was a good time. And uh, we're going to talk about that, too. Uh, here in just a remember, lively I'm audience for over. that show. It was a lot of fun. Oh, the chat was just was great, yep. and I couldn't uh, keep up with it. No, it, uh, that's uh, that's what I've been finding to be a difficult task. Uh, doing the lives, it's fun because I I love that live interaction with not only the guests uh, but the chat, and you know the conversation can go one way or the other real quick got, depending on what they got rowdy says in down the there in the chat they even started throwing money at us yeah okay hey there's <laughs> speaking of thanksgiving thanks we're, we're cory we're a professional podcast now i would I say we're one say. of the few paid podcasts out there in the reselling niche man now, it was so so we will say hey thanks for giving we got there super go. chats we got we super chats in in the the show, um, which was just cool. And the the first one that popped up, it was just like, oh hey, what's it? oh yeah, it's super. Somebody gave us. I forgot that we were kind of monetized at that first level, and uh, so that was that was cool. I, I don't know. It was got, strange like, being on this end of the super chat. Yes. Yeah, because, uh, you know, I like to, to support people and throw out a super chat every now and then in a show, depending on who it is. And so it's always that it's always fun cool. to give a super chat once in a while when you're in a live at, and and see them get that and then mention you and stuff. But to be on this end yeah. of it, I almost felt a, felt a little bit guilty just just because yeah. I know they're not getting their money's worth from this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was <laughs> exactly we need to step up the game if we're going to be a professional we're gonna have podcast to. we need to give a little more value a little more uh or at least you know some entertainment you know information if you could dispute giving... the super chats on your credit card <laughs> We'll yeah. probably be the first ones to find out. <laughs> we'll give a refund on the super chat because we didn't feel the episode was <laughs> as good. That's funny, but uh, you know, shout out to to Jill. Uh, was what Jill and Roman and uh, disgruntled oh, octopus. Was, di yeah, disgruntled op octopus. We got that. Uh, you know, it comes up. He's from Australia, so it come up as like the A. Austria. Yeah, uh, we had to do some conversion there. <laughs> yeah, we had to see exactly what. Uh, we were taking there. I think my niece Madison. Uh, we had a super yeah. sticker from. Um, oh man, I should have written that down. Sorry, guys, we're not going to remember. Everybody. Yeah, uh, we're everything. old. But it, that w it was very humbling, and it was very. It was uh, cool. It was very cool to to receive that. So again, thanks for giving. Uh, but we also gave out some prizes uh, while we're talking about it. I want to, you know, shout out to uh, Meg, the lilac seller and Chris Cajun Reese kiss crit. Wait, Chris Cajun reseller. <laughs> uh, they took home a couple of gift cards. Uh, Chris yep. got a, a Walmart gift card to uh, maybe buy some fixings or some, some Thanksgiving dinner. Dressing. And, um, Is that what we decided? Dress. Dress. Well, I'm a stuffing guy. You know, my mother makes her, I'm Thanksgiving. A guy. Yeah, you're a dressing guy. So you're outside the bird. I'm inside the bird. So <laughs> well, this just went a different direction. <laughs> I, <laughs> but, Good uh, luck with Meg, all that. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. We could uh Meg picked up an eBay gift card uh for yes. kind of that Christmas season that may be a little Black Friday cyber monday um shopping experience and so congratulations to them thank you for those super chats the show was fun thank you to kyle and Lori for joining us on the show um man kyle he he's got that thanksgiving knowledge down we did a little trivia <laughs> yeah, he little does. trivia fun fact thing about thanksgiving and uh he was his descendants came over on the mayflower they were like some uh, at the first, very first Thanksgiving. So he had that down. It's nice um, to see somebody take Thanksgiving more seriously than I do. 
That's right. I, again, I think it does get over. It does get overlooked. It's like, oh, okay, you know, Halloween's over. Let's get. It's the ready middle for child holiday, isn't it? It is. Which I don't know. I'm the middle child, Corey. Yeah, I, got I can't an see older you being brother overlooked. And a younger You're sister. the squeaky one. I. <laughs> 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 yeah, the squeaky wheel gets the grease all the time, and uh, and I'm generally greased up uh, most of the. <laughs> Uh, but I also want to go here's a different direction we're all over the place here as far as thanks for giving uh, so the other day where the other day finally I go to my P.O. box the P.O. box that we got you know for the show and that address is down uh, in the, the not the comment section we don't put in it what is that the, the description in the description yes and uh, so every day I check it, you know, hopefully that somebody would, you know, send something. I'm not begging for people to send stuff, but it is cool. It's another humbling thing like the Super Chat. So I go to the window and there's this. Come to the counter. That's super professional looking. It not it though? It's kind of cut crooked. And, they did and... that on their printer at home and cut it out with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> or just chewed it in half. I'm not sure how they got it out there. Where, where like, are these uh, lock boxes just at somebody's house, like in their porch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's good. That's funny. Uh, so I go and the, the lady was excited because, you know, every day, the lady that works over, you know, shout out to Got Mail, where I take a lot of my packages and where I have the box. And she was, uh, she's like, that oh, I just so the wanted slip to of tell paper. you. It's happening Because I told AOL. her, don't, at a, <laughs> you've got mail. I told her, if there's ever anything in there, don't tell me, because I want to be excited when I open the, open the box up. So come to the counter and they have a UPS package for me or a USPS. And then there's this box in there. And I look at the tag, and it came from in a box in the garage. Uh, good friend Bill uh, got yep. to meet him in Vegas, in uh, Vegas. at uh, meet up there earlier in the year, and uh, which is just cool. And I'm looking at it because I'm like, oh, who sent me, or did I order something, or whatever? In a box in the garage sent this, and look, it's all full of this Christmas paper. I'm gonna right now cool card in here now here's a guy that watches the show this is addressed to ken mr bill ssk promo seasonal santa the dog is on there and uh so really nice card oh and in there look at this look at this look at this in the card i won't go through the card but i got some stickers right there from bill in a box in the garage uh really cool stickers so i will add those to my sticker collection uh and then i dig in here i haven't opened it so there's a bag here got some oh falling out there are peppermint <laughs> sticks feels, it feels a lot like we skipped thanksgiving and went to christmas you know that that uncomfortable feeling where you're supposed to pretend to be happy for someone while they're opening their present but you're really waiting to open yours <laughs> But, yeah, I I do know that feeling. Yes, yeah. Unless I'm the one given, unless I'm the one given the gift, because I'm always more excited to give somebody a gift than I yeah, am I didn't to give, give this one. gift or get a gift. And so you're just sitting there on the sideline. <laughs> Look at these Smarties, big old oh, those Smarties. Are the big ones. These are the these are the giant size Smarties. Uh, is in there. There's another little pack in here that has. I know this is probably gripping if you're listening over on, you know, Spotify or <laughs> iTunes or something. More smart. You're the bag crinkling and the... just imagine. Oh, yes. Here, I'm, I'll try to be a little. Man, there's all kinds of Smarties. There's four big packages. Oh, here's, okay. Some Smarties. Happy Halloween or Happy Halloween. Happy Holidays with some gnomes on there. I'll be known for the holiday. I'll be known for Christmas or whatever. We talked about gnomes, didn't we? We did. Yeah, I found that out at the craft show that gnomes. Somebody's were trending. Oh, now, see, here's a, here's a guy that that listens that that knows me. Mac Macaroni and cheese, and cheese socks. socks. <laughs> They're socks. Oh, I'll, I might talk about that later. I bought some socks. I bought some socks over to over this week. Talk Mac about and that cheese later. socks. Mac 
Mac, well, no, they're not mac and cheese socks. They're, okay. Nothing's cooler than mac and cheese socks. Um, oh, and I don't then, know. I got some Chucky socks a couple weeks ago. Those are pretty cool. And then... Is there more? I've there's, been waiting wait, all week. there's more. I've been waiting all week. Look, a gift wrap. Again, first, that somebody would like to take the time to... To, to you know that's just a listener of course i got to you know meet bill and we interact on ig and things like that but uh to to think you know hey i'm gonna send ken a gift and that's that's great i i appreciate it so let's open this that's up. that let's honeymoon open. phase the more you know ken the less you want to send him stuff <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so i got bill hill or er, er, i yep you guys, i got bill you guys early are still on in the honeymoon relationship. phase <laughs> okay so let's see what's in this box here real quick uh, nicely wrapped are you uh, do you like to wrap presents it, I, mean, I don't is, know I'm, i don't do it <laughs> you don't do it this might be more for the uh you know the christmas shows coming up but i love to to wrap presents i got my Teresa own takes one. care of that i i the presents i do have to conceal in some way i usually just throw them in a bag oh, like the now, gift bag Corey, thing Bags are bags are for birthdays. Christmas gift has to be wrapped. Okay, is that a rule? Weapons. I didn't know that. It is. It is a rule. And again, we're we're see we're skipping past Thanksgiving in this show yeah. already. See how easily that happens because Christmas is such a festive time of year. And, uh, I'm, and I'm excited. It's going to be even more. Oh, this is the coolest. This look at this. Okay. <laughs> I love this gift. I can see it. You can't. <laughs> a mac and cheese ornament a mac and that's cheese cool. christmas ornament that's the coolest thing our youngest right would love that she's the a mac, mac and cheese and freak too that is going on my that is going on my tree oh that is so cool bill thank you in a box in the garage go check him out ig uh he does have a youtube page um I was, you know, checking that out. Uh, not tons of comment, but uh, content. But he does put, uh, you know, out some IG stuff. And, and he's always a big supporter on other people's pages. I see, you know, him liking stuff on everything. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled and I'm touched, again, that someone would think think about me and send, you know, send stuff along. Uh, mac and cheese socks and an ornament. All the smarties. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for that. And so... We can, and I've been excited all week to to open that. It's like I've been a kid at Christmas, you know, when those when you were younger and those presents would start to pile up under the tree. And you're just <laughs> he like, has oh, been. I just this, open the, this box has been brought up a few times. I know he's been impatiently waiting, <laughs> and it is a little like watching a kid wait for his birthday. Oh, <laughs> man, I should have put, I should have had my hat on. Well, while I was there, opening it, there uh, goes another again. baby elf. <laughs> next week. Next week. Santa beard <laughs> reveal. He's just killing all of Santa's elves over there. Right at the be beginning of the show. But so yeah. Uh good show. We'll get back to Thanksgiving now because um because that's the next holiday. That's this week, Thursday, a couple is. days from now. Man. And um uh, just kind of Did you get your turkey bought? Well, I guess you don't cook a turkey, do you? Your uh, folks, did they get their turkey bought? Yeah, I believe that they they bought the turkey like last week when they all went on sale at like at Kroger or Myers or wherever. And I've I've seen when I go over there, you know, there's cans of green beans and mushroom soup, and there's you know potatoes and all of that stuff is over there. So this this week they'll my mom and my aunt and my my sister and my nieces they'll all get together like on Wednesday night and and um, do all the food prep and. And just, you know, ready everything. We go over to my sister's house for Thanksgiving and uh, just, you know, have a day. Usually get over there early, spread out all of the, um, get the, you know, stop and pick up the newspaper so we can spread out all the ads for the Black Friday sales and, and really compare notes, see who, see who, if anybody's going. To, okay. So we were going to talk about that Black Friday. Are you, do you partake? in black friday because that's kind of like been associated with with thanksgiving now so yeah it's pretty much intertwined with thanksgiving because it's it's during the thanksgiving well basically everybody gets up 
that like at midnight that night or four in the morning the next morning and goes and does their thing. So yeah, yeah, we don't. I mean, Teresa and the girls go to a parade of light thing the day after Thanksgiving. And okay, sit outside and freeze and watch a parade of Christmas light. It's like a Christmas parade, basically. Okay. See, so and, they're they're spending their whole Thanksgiving day being excited about going to Christmas the next day. Do they they just want Thanksgiving? Well, that's, they're to be still over. not allowed to mention it <laughs> <laughs> until after dinner. Till Corey's had his fill, they can do it via stuffed, text, but it can't be out loud. You know, when you're taking that post meal, when that trip the fan or whatever kicks in, and you're just vegged out on the couch, and they're scheming in the background, and talking they're about they're Christmas all in there. Stuff giggly and excited about going to the <laughs> the holiday festival of lights or the parade or the that event no thanksgiving thanksgiving day starts early for us we don't get to the the whole black friday thing until later in that evening they start yeah kind of thinking about it what they're going to do the next day and they do a parade of lights thing but they don't they used to do the whole shopping thing they don't do that anymore i think yeah it, I think online kind of took over to the point where that's just not as big a thing in, around here. It's it's way yeah. easier to find a better deal online than it is to go throw elbows with the Walmart chicks at three in the morning. <laughs> but that's part of the fun, you know, throwing those elbows, fighting no, over, it's not. you know, fighting it's over that TV, uh, trying to get uh, trying to get that you know good deal on that cheap, you know. Yeah. It used to be a lot of fun. Brand name, yeah, it yeah. Black Friday has changed quite a bit. It used to be, you know, back in the day, you didn't have all the twenty-four hour stores that are open. You know, where you know Walmart kind of lets you come in and you're just inside. Uh, and it used to be on Black Friday, on Friday after Thanksgiving. You know, now well, I remember some of these stores around, are opening around Nebraska where my grandparents lived growing up where we would usually have Thanksgiving while they were still around. They had the br- the Black Friday, they would shut them all down Thanksgiving and the, there was nothing over yeah. Thanksgiving. Like stores yes. closed. And then when you went out for Black Friday and you went to the mall for example, that was the first time you saw Christmas decorations. Like they spent all oh. of Thanksgiving decorating the mall so that Black Friday okay. when they opened up, it was just like Christmas wonderland inside. So as a kid oh, that was good super cool yeah it's just they, they don't that. really do it anymore that's uh that's interesting yeah that they would have their employees because we we had talked a little bit kind of off there and i think maybe on the the holiday live tour about how black friday it should be on friday you know i'll i'll make a play out you know in stores yeah. you know retail let your let your employees enjoy their families you know give them a day to to you know rest and be off and maybe go have a big meal with their family someplace and not have to be at the store all day uh prepping for or at least make it part of crowds. your make it part of your interview process like when you're hiring people you can ask them do you like your family if they say no thanksgiving schedule <laughs> <laughs> that's See, one of the problem interview solver. questions that's a, <laughs> hey, do you like your family and and if they say no they're scheduled for every holiday that's all the funny. holidays uh, <laughs> <laughs> i love that that's a great idea but yeah black friday being different nowadays um and with, you know, Cyber Monday, then, of course, you know, the online yeah. retailers come up with the, the Cyber Monday thought and idea here. I don't know how I don't know how long has Cyber Monday been going on. Seems like about the time Black Friday started dying. Yeah. When <laughs> I mean, everybody started the more popular the Internet got, the more the more yeah. Black Friday kind of took a dive. And I do. Yeah, I'd probably say. 90% of my Christmas shopping is is online now because yeah. you well, know not how to convenient be, for it to show up not to be like a not to dig into it too deep I guess but do you think uh-huh. online retailers just made price competitive like prices so competitive that those deals didn't they didn't make sense for Black Friday anymore I mean you could get a deal like that online just about every day of the week yeah 
And I, I think, you know, that is a is a good point. And coupled with the convenience of just, yeah. you know, sitting there, I can do most, you know, scrolling through, I can do most of my my shopping. And the next day, if you do a lot of it, say on on Amazon or whatever, the, um, you know, it's going to show up next day, two days, depending on where your where your area is. We and do. if you have prime, we do a lot of our shopping online, too. We, we always take yeah. at least one day. And not on Black Friday, but yeah. we always take at least one day and we go out shopping just because that's part of the experience. Yeah. Where we're we're together and we just go out and we shop and we kind of make a day of it and we grab lunch and see the Christmas decorations and all the good all the good Christmassy jazz. Yeah. If you can get, you know, a little bit past uh that black friday because the traffic is so bad so yeah if you're doing that you know say the next weekend or whatever yeah you kind of yeah. everybody's in full christmas christmas spirit and uh you know out there in the hustle and bustle of course you know i keep mentioning amazon but i am making a, a conscious effort this year to buy from uh, off of ebay because it is a platform that that i sell on that 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 I make my living from selling on eBay, and I have a lot of friends, uh, you know, right here in the community that are sellers. That's a good idea. Trying to go out and shop from uh, from their stores, look on eBay, or you know, find people that that I know, and can I either find a gift in their store that's appropriate for a, a relative, a family, friend, loved one, or whatever, or if. I know of, like, you know, if somebody wants a particular sort of item, you know, there's mm -hmm. a lot of people in this community that are niche down and it's like, oh, I can go to that person first because I know I'm going to find, you know, this guy's a big clothing seller. This person wants some shoes or, you know, especially like vintage sort of items. If somebody's I just really like the idea something. of buying for all the family, just buying used stuff <laughs> yeah. and, and just, just let them know that. We love you, but your expectations need to stay realistic and, throughout the year. <laughs> like, we don't love you brand new retail price work. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get this old stuff. Oh, no, there know, is a lot of really dead. unique, like you can find some really unique stuff on eBay that you can't oh, yeah. find. Like, like a lot of the stuff we, we sell is not stuff you could just go buy. Yeah, exactly. So it is a good idea. They're, they're UX. You know, UAC yep. brand, one of a kind on things. Uh, so yeah, I've been trying to support people uh, in the eBay community uh, and and support friends. You know, I just it's supporting the platform and then supporting you know friends is is a good direction to go. But speaking I got to I got to that, think. Yeah, I was gonna say speaking of eBay and the the whole Black Friday thing. Are you doing anything in terms of sales or anything like that for Black Friday? You know, we had talked about that, and that's a that's a good point. And I think it's a good time to take advantage of, uh, you know, what there is the Black Friday and the the Cyber Monday, and running some sales. Uh, so I I guess I would pose that question to you. I I plan on, uh, you know, during this week. Of course, you know, Black Friday. As soon as you get to uh, Halloween is over. All, all the TV commercials are already pitching Black Friday sales yeah. all all month long. <laughs> it's like really, you really you're discounted that much because I always think of a Black Friday as a deep discount day. Cyber yep. Monday is more of a yeah. There are some some sales and some stuff. It's kind of the kickoff to that online shopping season, but <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, I We're choked up him. there all of a sudden. Yeah, I don't know what happened. All that holiday cheer. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's it's got me. <clears throat> Swallow it down is still not from, Thanksgiving yet. From those super chats and that, you know, gift I found in the mailbox and all <laughs> choked up. Um, if I always think of Black Friday as that deep discount sale day when you were going to go yep. out, you were going to get that TV set for, you know, $29.99 or something ridiculous, you know, price. And you go and you fight with fight with everybody. And, you know, Walmart's pushing them out of the back room and people are 
unwrapping the plastic and pulling them yep. off the carts and stuff. But it's um, but I thought about that. You know, I'm going to couple that. I thought about doing it last year and didn't really get to it. But running uh, a Black Friday kind of probably starting this week um, and deep, deep discounting, doing some some deeper sales and higher promotions. Now, yeah. there's, you know, that thing in the in our community here, there's there's a, a divide there, whether people are doing promotions or not doing promotions in their stores. I think it just depends on how you yeah. want to do your business. I don't think there's a, yeah, I, I think there's a divide on a lot of things. But I, again, it, I think well, it boils yeah. down to what you're comfortable with. If it's working for yeah. you, I, I mean, there's there's no, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. Like we're doing it a little different too on our Black Friday uh -huh. stuff. We are going to, I think we talked about it a little bit and we want to do something. Yeah. But we do know a lot of big retailers on eBay are doing just what you said. They're going to raise their promotion amount to a higher number. Yeah. They're going to discount their products to a cheaper number and they're going to run that Black Friday sale that way. I don't know that we want to compete in in that exact way. I don't think we're going to change okay. our promotions. I don't think I think we will put on a discount type promotion, but I think okay. rather than trying to turn our promoted listings up to push it out there, I think we're actually going to use the the email marketing in the back end and okay. actually send it out to everybody who's purchased from us before so we could put it Good in idea. people's laps, which means yes. I don't think we could do a promoted I don't think we could do a markdown promotion that's general. I think we got to get pretty specific. So we may do okay. Like I, I think we mentioned hats earlier when you and I were talking. Yeah, we may do just a hat discount and send a message out. You know, do you know somebody in your life that wears a hat? Find a hat you can't find anywhere okay. else at forty percent off type thing, and okay. just hit the email marketing side of it rather than more on the front end yeah because it's funny we got to talk and you were you had mentioned the hats just without even discussing both of us actually happen to be running a hat sale because yeah. right now the hat sales are a little bit slower now i mean people buy hats all the time but it does seem to be more of a hats are always late slow spring going into the <laughs> going into the summer sort of thing that i sell more more hats and so i you know i look at those categories in my store where the sales are slower and it's like okay let's run a bigger hat sale and mm -hmm. see if we can move some along and i think we were well i i think my sale ran a little bit better than yours uh this week yeah, your probably. your sale was even higher you had like a what a 40 percent off sale we did 40, and yeah. uh with your promotions and i was doing a 25 percent off sale and uh i mean i i basically doubled your sales only at my sale of 25 percent. <laughs> yeah i sold one i sold one hat and how many did you sell you sold we did zero, sell right? one no we did oh, sell you, one. Oh, so you tied me so <laughs> here, well, I I, the last I, one yeah but talk. i gave twice you, the discount so you still win <laughs> <laughs> yes, I still won. Okay, I was going that route of that. You, I thought you had still sold zero hats, and I had sold one hat on my on my sale promotion, which was only basically through this week. I think it actually ends uh, today on Sunday Ours when we're today, recording. Yep. So I'm going to look hats, at that for we don't, my Black Friday. We don't have good luck with hats. We never had good luck with hats, and I don't know if it's. I'm looking at the hats and we're comping them out. And it seems like we have really good hats. I mean, we've, we've got some 40, $50 hats according to yeah. eBay comps. Yeah. We just can't seem to sell. They're hats. just not moving. Like, we discount them right down to nothing. The hat we did sell was a vintage hat with the scrambled eggs on the, on the bill. And they had the rope yeah, on yeah. it. And, and it was a, a vintage NRA logoed hat. And okay. we had to sell, we discounted it all the way to $8 just to move it. Well, with the so, NR, you know, the NRA theme on it, you know, people are, you know, getting ready for that Black Friday morning sale. You know, they want people yeah. to know whoever got the they want people to know <laughs> that they're TV. probably packing. They're most likely <laughs> yeah, that's my <laughs> That's my TV lady. Back no, down. I think we have some good hats. We've just not had great luck selling them. So we are trying to 
figure out why. I mean, we're, so, we're not yeah. giving up. We're trying to figure it out. And I, you know, I think I'm going to, I do like that idea of uh, sending out that coupon on that markdown to, you know, previous buyers or whatever to get them, you know, back to your store. Uh, but I'm going to go with more of a, a different approach rather than on a particular category or slow mover. I'm going to go sales, you know, all the way across the board. Uh, yeah. I am going to kick up my promotions more. And again, I'm not talking like through, you know, a, a month long sale or whatever. It's going to be that Black Friday, you yeah. know, get it now because this sale is going to end, you know, most likely on a on Tuesday uh, or Wednesday, you know, after the Cyber Monday. And, you know, most everything that that I have in my inventory, uh, everything I say this all the time, it starts with buying it right. If you've if you've bought your items right, if you're either finding those good deals or you're negotiating uh, good deals, then I have enough, I guess, margin in that to run a sale through, you know, maybe a Tuesday through Tuesday or, or you know, maybe even a little bit yeah, later, get that Wednesday when people are. Wednesday through Tuesday, that's a deep discount sale with a high promotion. I'm going to be giving away more money, but uh, hopefully that brings yeah. up brings up the sales. By the time uh, right we get to that forty percent, you know, by the time we get to where we're giving that forty percent off, it's already yeah. because we didn't buy well. <laughs> I mean, those are the things <laughs> that haven't moved. So yeah. it, generally if if we bought well they would have moved but we did buy well in terms of we bought cheap so we don't have anything in them i mean we could essentially almost give them away and still yeah. make something so by the time we get to that 40 percent off i mean we've done 50 60 70 percent off sales and still made money it's just yeah. on on stuff that we haven't had luck moving so and I guess it depends on, you know, how you look at that, you know, profit is profit. Uh, do you leave money on the table on a hat that, you know, like you said, you have some 40, 50, $60 hats in your store and you run a 50% promotion. You're selling, you know, that hat for 25 bucks, you know, it's a $50 hat. Uh, you know, as long as you have 50 cents in it, you're still making profit. But it's, is it, do you feel when you're selling something like that, that you're just leaving money on the table that, oh, by eBay comps, I should be able to get, you know, 40 bucks for this hat. Generally, and we I look ended at up it selling as, it for 20 yeah, if, and all the promotions and fees. And if we've had it through all the seasons once, if we've had it for a year, to where yeah. I know it's not a seasonal thing or anything like that, then at, at that point I don't I don't have any regret selling it for a dollar more than I bought it for. I don't care because the shelf space yeah. it's taking up could be being used by something that would sell. So exactly, we get really I, unattached to things after they've been there for that long. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm um, I'm doing that in my plush right now. I've got a lot of yeah. plush and and I think I'm going to really blow that out even after my it'll be in my general sale here for this kind yeah. of Black Friday Cyber Monday sort of thing and then after that I'm going to going to really really deep discount it uh for a little bit see if I can move some of it along and then if not I may start lotting that stuff up. And just selling yeah. it, you know, in lots, even even on a Facebook marketplace or something like that. Or just, you know, hey, here's a big box of mystery plush to, you know, sell that through eBay. We get in we get in purging mode every once in a while, especially when we buy a, a storage unit like we just did. And you're yeah, you're going through it and you're kind of sorting garbage, donate, keep, sell. And yes. we kind of get into a purging Fire mode pile. where we start Yep, we start getting rid of stuff real easy, and that's generally when that stuff will leave. We don't. We try not to keep it. Like I don't want a four thousand item eBay store. Ours is thirty some hundred, like thirty three hundred yeah. or something now, and I don't have any desire to store five, four or five thousand items. I'd yeah. much rather have two thousand items that are selling. So. And that's a, you know, that's part of a business model. Things that I'm going to be looking in, you know, in twenty twenty. Four, I did really good at that this year in 2023 of trying to get better items, those uh, profits and not project items. Yeah. Uh, and here recently, I've really been trying to focus on items that are that are list ready. 
things that I don't have to do anything with either new and packaged stuff or, or items that are clean and good to go where, you know, I always thought before, you know, oh yeah, there's profit in this. Oh, I can clean that up. I can fix this little thing. I can do, you know, Especially I can in the, take the time in to the test In the winter this. time when your sourcing gets tough, you start, yeah. I, I start picking up more of that kind of stuff. Cause, yeah. Because you don't get to source. So you just want to buy something. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And uh, so I'm looking, you know, looking forward to that, those changes in the 2024 and that, that'll be in upcoming episodes, you know, that might be hashtag the goals, one thing maybe. that maybe that'll be the one thing that gets me into whatnot is we'll have a, like a, we'll call it a fire sale uh, and we'll just set up outside yeah. in the driveway in the snow and we'll sell everything at two bucks or so whatever doesn't sell goes in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea, dude. Okay. Nobody steal that. That's going to be, that's Corey's thing, you know. Friday that, night got, fire sales. We'll just do it once a week. <laughs> dude, that's freaking brilliant. There you go, guys. That if anybody is, steals this, I'll take, I'll take 2%. I'm not greedy. <laughs> <laughs> as long as Corey gets his cut for the idea. Dude, that is just an amazing idea. We'll have, we'll have to try it. I'm going to have to call whatnot now. That, what that may be my, oh, my to end get, to get on to whatnot. Yeah, this is what you're going to do. Yeah. You know, now they'll let anybody in. When I first tried to get into whatnot, they were, you know, so exclusive. If you didn't have a great big giant channel and you weren't, uh, you know, going to make them a ton of money instantly. We'll just, which we'll just come right out of the gate and be, be honest about it. We're, we're going to sell you guys our garbage or we're going to burn it. One of the two. Exactly. And it's going <laughs> to, oh, that is such a great idea. Um, so yeah, just kind of finishing that, that topic up the black Friday, um, whether you are, um, selling, um, well, you're doing sales. Okay. Th let's talk about the, uh, uh, prospect of using black Friday as a sourcing opportunity. Does, yeah. you know, in the, in the comments, I would like to know in the comments, first of all, if you are going to run a Black Friday slash Cyber Monday sale. Maybe if you don't mind sharing your strategy, what what you're thinking, what you're going to do. Are you going to promote more? Are you going to promote less? Are you going to run a bigger, deeper discount sale with, uh, you know, a little bit of sale with a high promotion or or vice versa? I like Corey's route there of sending out those those coupons and that email or that social yeah. media uh, sort of. Uh, interacting with the customers to get them. So I, I'm interested to see what folks are going to do as I formulate my sale for this week. Uh, you know, I have some ideas and just in a conversation that Corey and I had before the show, it's like I'm already kind of rethinking stuff uh, uh, because anytime, you know, that's one thing that's great about the the community is people share ideas and you see Lots different stuff ideas. on people's yep. different shows and 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 that's you know, one, one process that we like to do, you know, we show, we share our ideas, you know, they're usually horrible ideas and it's like, <laughs> we should be the show. It's like, okay, don't do any of this. You know, it'd be like Romans, like Romans show the most unprofessional live. I was okay. I was on Romans yep. show, uh, Romans Saturday night live show. He had us, uh, Jill and I, when I say us, I mean, Jill and I as guests on Saturday and then his kind of co-host is, um, Lissa, uh, Bobbles, Bobbles, Blings, and Needful Things. And uh, I it was great. It was fun. Well, first of all, Roman's a great guy. I love Roman. And uh, it was great to be on a show where somebody actually talked more than I did, Corey. <laughs> the, I was, it, the, yeah. the show feels really familiar to me because Roman is basically you. And, and Lissa yeah. <laughs> just sits in the corner and just has to look pretty for everyone like me. So like, uh, <laughs> it's a very familiar show. <laughs> you are the you're the eye candy the of eye the candy show here, here. Guys. and uh, <laughs> much like uh, Lissa there on on his show. But Jill and I had a great time on Roman's show. Uh, it was fun. Uh, the chat again. He has a good lively chat that's very interactive with stuff that's going on. Uh, even though you know Roman, we were literally two minutes from the end of the show. 
and Roman was still welcoming people in the chat. <laughs> he was, he's still, he was probably like, still hey, reading the first of the chat. I mean, those people, yeah, those the show was like basically from eight eight p.m. to ten p.m. Uh, he was welcoming people to the show that had chatted at like eight forty five. You yeah, know, they already it's went like, to bed. <laughs> and they were gone. Yeah, most of the people were gone. Well, I think uh, you would come in like mid-show or whatever into yep. the, the thing. And by the time that he got to that, I knew that you were already gone like years yeah. ago. But <laughs> uh, but I, I, I love Roman. Uh, Roman's a, a big supporter of this show and, and uh, you know, a, a good friend. We interact outside of outside of the whole YouTube community stuff. Uh, but I appreciate Roman having us on and and it was good not to, uh, you know, end end a show without a you know a sore throat from talking the whole time. Yeah, thank uh, you, Roman, for reeling Ken in over there. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Someone needs to. Uh, so yeah, big exciting week with Thanksgiving coming up. That Black Friday going to do those sales again. If you have a, a Black Friday sale idea, uh, throw yeah, it down in know. the in the comments. We would appreciate that. And, uh, it might be too late for, well, it wouldn't be too late. Yeah. If we, if this comes out tomorrow, Monday. Yeah. Well today for you when you're watching it, but yes. Yeah. So you'd have time to implement something new. If we saw a good idea, like a, if we got some, or a horrible some idea, yeah. like a, like a fire sale, like catching yourself on fire on whatnot. <laughs> that, we'll take all the ideas. I, I love that. Um, so I guess the only other thing that we had on our notes here, um, you know, especially hopefully you're going to get all of those sales. And, and as you are doing those listings that the, the post office, the USPS has changed oh, yes. some rates uh, that are coming up. They actually went into effect uh, Saturday, November the 18th. So as you're doing that, you're shipping this Monday, some of those rates will have taken effect. Rates. And especially going into this last big pitch uh, or the last big sales, you know, the Black Friday when everybody's online shopping and your pre-Christmas sales. It's mostly to our advantage, these changes, which is not something you get to announce very often. <laughs> this is true. And so I called up, um, you know, I do most all of my shipping just through the eBay, the eBay platform. Yep. That's where I'm selling. Uh, and I do some stuff off of pirate ship and, and so I was looking, you know, on pirate ship and they always, they're always really good about explaining and, uh, having, you know, something that tells yeah. about the rate. So I just kind of go through, we, you know, people can look this up, go to pirate ship, or you can go anywhere online. But, uh, for those of us that like me are lazy and don't want to actually Google it themselves, uh, there's a change in priority mail flat rate. It's, uh, it's increasing 6%. Uh, now I don't use Corey. Do you use much of the flat rate? Like if it fits, we, it ships. Stuff? We used to. We used to use it a lot because we used to ship small items that were really heavy. I think this would yeah. affect more people. Like if you're selling car parts and stuff that are fairly heavy, but yeah. still small. That's where flat rate would kind of get you. But now we don't. We don't hardly use flat rate almost ever. Yeah, I I don't know that I ever used a a flat other other than like the uh priority mail the bubble the bubble mailer that's yep. kind of a, a flat rate I'll, I'll use that uh then they in the weight based priority mail which is the one that would start to that's affect a lot of yep. us more they're increasing that like 10 percent in certain zones if you're mailing out to zone one through four one you know four. based on where your area is now at. that's that's where the number seven box would fall into right that's that's a weight based uh, yeah. priority. That is a weight based priority okay. on the the number seven or any of those like the 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 ten ninety six, the ten ninety two, ten ninety five, yep. uh, the shoe box uh, that you get if you are ordering free supplies from the the postal service. So that's the real common one. The, that's pretty. Yes, anybody shipping priority is probably going to fall into that category for the most part. Yes, the weight based and so, but that is increasing ten percent. Uh, they have the dimension based priority mail cubic. If you mm -hmm. do anything cubic, that's increasing up to 23% in those Ouch. zones one through four, uh, for the different tiers. You can look into that. Usually the only time that I uh, deal with anything that's cubic is if I am shipping something through using the pirate ship 
which is mm -hmm. kind of, again, where you would have used that flat rate, maybe an item that's uh, very big or, or, or uh, the smaller items that are heavy, that are in a yeah. smaller item in a box. I'm going to go to pirate ship because they use that cubic rate. So you've got a, a, yeah. a small box that fits within those dimensions and, and folks can, you know, look that up and, and see if they're doing that. Um, but the one that affects us the most, I think the, I, I want to say the majority of the sellers, but at least the majority of the sellers that I know is the ground advantage. That's the big uh, one, shipping, yeah. especially since they had changed those kind of rules and combined that some of those shipping uh, things to first class and stuff into the ground advantage. It is decreasing up to 16% in zones one through, five. one through five that is huge uh and the, it depends there's factors depending on the size and the weight of your package and and stuff uh there's a lot of <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of subtext going on in this episode there, guys there, you might need to watch this <laughs> twice because you're going to catch some stuff that's <laughs> there's a few easter I, eggs going on in here i was reading that depending on the size <laughs> and the weight of your package it can be decreased by 16 percent uh on the ground advantage which is huge uh, and depending on your business model, if you use, you know, a flat rate or if you're using calculated or whatever, uh, yeah. that can make a big difference in some of your shipping, uh, you know, over this holiday season. Yeah, very seldom do you ever see a decrease. Plus, they had announced that they weren't adding holiday surcharges this yeah. year, the USPS. And now they had announced that back before. Um, I think overall, it's so, really good. I, that whole announcement is really good news for the most part. I think. Yeah. Yeah. For, so for just what we do. Be mindful of that. If you see, you know, if you're really tracking your shipping and stuff and you see some differences in, in changes or charges, or maybe how, if you're doing a flat rate, not a uh, right. calculated, you know, how that might uh, uh, affect those. Maybe you need to go, if you use some shipping policies and stuff, you can go in and, Change those. Yeah, change calculated, those I don't think you'll even. People... You shouldn't even notice it if you're on calculated. If you're doing flat yeah. rate or free shipping, I think just oh, maybe yeah, take a free look shipping. just to be sure you're not undercharging. Either, either, yeah, undercharging or overcharging. Or overcharging. You know, anytime yeah. people can get it, you know, cheaper if those rates are decreasing. Because you know, in my business model, I I do not try to make money off of shipping. No, I try either. to give the buyer the, the cheapest uh, shipping. I, I have that, you know, option checked where it passes my discount, even on the calculated. It allows people to see the the commercial price or whatever. Yep. And that's, you know, what I'm charging because, you know, you, you make, sometimes you make a little bit of money. Sometimes you make, you know, and, but I don't base my, my business model off of trying to make money off of shipping. And, uh, cause with prime and amazon and all of that people expect free shipping these days on everything and when you're charging for shipping um you want to get that rate down yeah, as we have as a, you can. we so, have a good mix of different shipping so we don't do any one thing we have yeah. we have some free we have some flat rates for like golf clubs and blow molds and we have some calculated so we're kind of all over but it just depends yeah. on what we're shipping so and that's that's the, that's the same that i do but Corey. Big week, uh, fun show. I I had good time on the show. I think we show have enough. And I think we have enough stuff to do a whole nother show here if we want to do a two hour show. But we, we probably do. should <laughs> probably could wrap notes, it up. Yeah, we'll we'll <laughs> wrap it up. Um, so make sure to tune in next week if you want to see you know this nonsense. The of beard. Seasonal Santa will be in full effect next week with and the, I will be uh, in the Christmas mood. The bleaching next week. of the beard. Yes, you will. You will have a full belly and yep. a festive attitude. I will be jolly. And hopefully jolly. we'll be talking about, uh, you know, well, we'll probably be talking a little bit more about uh, Cyber Monday and how those... Um, how it went. So how, how it went. Of course, you know, we'll be recording over th during when all that's happening. But uh, so that might be yeah. the next episode to talk about those sales the following one to talk about those sales. Well, at least we'll know uh, and, what kind of sale we did at that point. Yes. Yes. And we may not and, have all the results. 
hopefully that is by some of the some of the comments that that you yeah. folks leave uh we appreciate well, you've, everyone you've heard our really bad ideas so you guys give us some good ideas we'll let you know which direction we go yeah <laughs> yeah exactly teach us to be re there's what we should do we should just sit here and ask questions of the community and let them answer and kind of run our business for us that's what you told me this was that's why i'm here <laughs> <laughs> well, how's that? How's that working out for you? It sucks. Nobody's given me any good <laughs> advice, and the good advice that has been given, I haven't taken well, any of it. If it that, well, see now, whose problem? <laughs> whose fault is that, Corey? It's Teresa's. Uh, yeah, you don't want to listen. Ooh, shots fired! <laughs> shots fired! Okay, Corey, enjoy your Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, enjoy you your family coming and and visiting. Um, be safe out there, everyone. If you are heading out to the stores on Black Friday, those crowds can get uh, can get a little bit rough. You don't need to fight over that that TV set because uh, there's going to be one, you know, on Amazon or on an eBay reseller that yep. uh, you can get it just as cheap. Uh, thank you again, Bill, um, in a box in the garage for the fun gift uh, that you sent the macaroni and cheese. Everybody that uh, super chats. All of that. We're going to wrap Happy it up here, Corey. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yes.